second thought. I'm hoping to give you second thoughts today. State attorney in the Solvang, San Inez Valley of Santa Barbara County. Yes, he forged those papers saying he, he was the president of this company that did exist, but he didn't own it. Robert Hackney was the owner. So they brought Robert Hackney in from out of state to testify saying he had nothing to do with it. Courtney has nothing to do with it. So he forged those papers and had us believe that we were protected. Then Judge Zell Cantor ordered our house to be sold to pay these bogus claims that were made up down in Alhambra. And so they brought, they brought charges against us and evicted us from our house. Who brought charges? Irwin? Irwin had the uh, abstract judgments that he recorded in Santa Barbara. You have that? Were you even at that trial in Alhambra? Yes, I was. You were there? <laughs> we were there. They wouldn't let us testify. Did you have an attorney? Sure, but the attorney hid under the desk. Oh, my God. Was he was afraid those. to speak. You I'm really on this you program, know, yeah, but he you, was... you got to watch your was, language, but... Yeah, he's the, the, the <laughs> ballless guess, wimp. Don't, don't... Okay, he's a ballless wimp. You can say that. All right. But did he have a name, or don't you want to yeah, just... Yeah, all right. G, D. Giuseppe. An Italian I, name. And I paid... Yeah, I paid him $200,000 for attorney fees. And he just hid under the yeah, table and yeah, let them walk away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All he had to do was ask the one question. Where is this lawsuit that David Hyman had brought against you? They wouldn't be able to produce it, and therefore, it would have been over right there and then. He was afraid. The is, guy... Gi is Giuseppe still around? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going to sue him? Oh, I don't know. Malpractice <laughs> comes to my mind. Oh, yes. The question but... is, can you find another good attorney, a real fighter like Tom Mesereau, who doesn't yeah. take these kind of cases? Now, I only... might see him. He's a good uh, He only good takes attorney. murder cases. Well, this... <laughs> Uh, no. Have you heard of murder by financial strangulation? That's well, about what they did. Hey, I don't know. I'll give you Tom's number. You can give him a call. <laughs> okay. So that's how they got the grips on this. Yeah. And then after they, we had to get out of our house, we were evicted from our house, we had to then move into a condo and all the stuff in the condos piled up to the ceiling because we had a 6,000 square foot home right. and moved into an 1,800 square foot home. Right, 6,000 so, to 1,800. Yeah, yeah, and so everything's piled up in there. And in the storage, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. But, so but how did Courtney, Courtney do you along there? When we got thrown out, we had a homestead that we had uh. got on the house, put on the house back in 1986, I think. Well, a long time back. So uh, at that time, Courtney said he wasn't our attorney anymore, sent us a substitution out attorney form. To, he's not our attorney anymore after he got us into that. And then he wrote to the sheriff the same time and said, send me the homestead money. Before or after he said he's not your attorney? After he said he wasn't our attorney. So Courtney says, I'm not your attorney. Yeah. And then he tells the sheriff, hey, I'm the attorney. Yeah. Send me yeah. their $125,000 homestead. That's right. That's right. On the same day. And this was a point made in trial. And he was convicted for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven felonies so, he was convicted of. Yeah. So he took the money. And I called up and said, where's our homestead? And he says, he knows nothing about it. And he had it. He knows nothing yeah, about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so then I, after that, I went to this other attorney. And he called him up. He said he put the money in Knightsbridge, the non-existent corporation. The non-existent corporation. Yeah. How pretty. How beautiful. So from that point, uh, I went and brought charges against him with the sheriff. Now, when the sheriff deeded the property, our home, over to Irwin. Oh. It's, it's, I know it's difficult to follow. No, uh, I follow yeah, you. Okay. I, I'm just, uh, I'm, he I'm, turned, <laughs> I got to cool down. He, I'm getting angry. When he took, the sheriff had, uh, the Zell Canner wrote an order that the money was supposed to be paid and directed to be paid directly to Diane and me. But the sheriff didn't pay attention to that. He did. Did, did you make a sheriff aware of it? Did you make the sheriff, Jim Anderson, aware that that money was supposed to go and you had Zell Cantor's court Ze order? His court order was there, yes. And he ignored it? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
But then you have a lawsuit against Santa Barbara County, I would think, and Jim we Anderson. We started that one. <laughs> you did start that one. Yeah. So. Did that get dismissed? Uh, yeah, they said hearsay, hearsay. So, uh, in any event, <sighs> that was that one. And also, they sold our property for over a million dollars to a new uh, couple that bought the property. And in doing that, the title company gave them title to the property. Clear title? Clear title. But they don't have clear title. It's in Phelps Family Partnership. So they screwed up. <laughs> and so we can sue. So the people living right now as we're speaking out there in Solvang yeah. in Kronberg Castle. Yeah, they call it Kronberg Castle. Castle. What's the address of that place? 1461 Kronborg. 1461. They might not really have a home. They don't. They're they in, may be living there, but they may not have the legal title to stay there. I know they don't. That's why they're in bankruptcy. Oh, they went into bankruptcy yes. to try to keep their home. Yeah, because they can't because they don't have any money. They have uh, these mortgages on it that they can't pay. And ah, so, so they're going to lose they're it deep anyway. in, And they can't do anything to the title. Co they have to go against the title company because they wrongly guaranteed that that was their property. <sighs> so... What a oh, mess. Oh, it gets so wound up, but it's so let difficult me, let to believe. You read all this in the court, and I'm going to get most of that up on my YouTube channel. By the way, if you don't know, my YouTube channel is, is two names you see right here, William Wagoner, as one word on YouTube, and you'll pull up 200 clips, including clips from tonight's show with Mr. Rex Phillips. I guarantee you the attorneys are listening, Rex. All right. I hate to say anything so, nice about an attorney, but my, there my, is one. My wife was uh, was on the stand in uh, Courtney Center to bankruptcy court and then said if uh, he wants us to defend her, she after we paid him $50,000. 50000 That he we would have to pay him another 10000 Well, he had corrupted all the papers and everything already. So we didn't do that. He left her there. And so they beat her up on the witness stand until her mind snapped. Oh, my God. And so I had to take her off the stand and held and told her she'd never go in court again and took her to my doctor, and the doctor sent her to a psychiatrist. Psychiatrist uh, said that she had, sent her, got a uh, X-ray for a CAT scan for water in the brain, checked that, that was negative, checked her all out and said that the pressure was too much was just and her pressure. mind snapped. How old was Diane at that point? So, How old was she, she was 90. 90? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was 90 years old yeah, at that uh -huh. point? Yeah. So. And they just crucified her on the witness stand. And what judge allowed that beating, that verbal beating to go on? What do you call it? That It wasn't a judge, it was a... Oh, uh, no, not a, a petitioner. commissioner. A petitioner, I think, or a commissioner or something like that. Oh, my goodness. In this yeah. county? Yeah, mm-hmm. But they did it. They kept saying, where did you hide the $2 million you stole? And we didn't steal any million dollars. And, and she said, well, whatever we had from escrow when we sold our property, we put it in. Uh, we had uh, $1 million at close of escrow. And after cost, we had only $429,000. No, 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 where did you put that? And they kept hammering, hammering until her mind snapped. So... She went. She so had no attorney to say stand no, up and say uh, where, asked and answered. That's what. That's the, where Courtney somebody, was supposed to somebody be. Somebody should have said asked. In fact, the judge could have said, the commissioner could have said that's been asked and answered. Move on. Yeah, but he did. They were after her. Yeah, they were trying. They were trying to. They destroy smeared her. her name and smeared my name from the beginning, that we were the bad guys. So I that the kept, picture. That's like uh, like dominoes, and it kept tumbling, tumbling all the way up to Santa Maria Court. And that's why today, even if... Second thought, hoping to give you second thoughts today.